I'm Bennett Falcone and I'm eight years old. I'm Nathan Falcone and I am 11 years old. Nathan and Bennett have a rare form of progeria and it's called a mandibuloacral dysplasia uh, type B. And it's a form of progeria and progeria is a um, disorder of premature aging. So when we first learned about diagnosis for uh, Nathan and Bennett, yeah, obviously it was very, very difficult. Um, you know, we can remember pretty vividly the time in the hospital when the, the Dr. Scold came and told us about, um, you know, about it for the first time. So, you know, extremely difficult for us and, and for our family. Um, and, um, you know, our, the support that we've um, received from the community has been obviously a huge, um, you know, uh, surprise to us. It's been, everybody's been very supportive. The people who have rallied behind us have done lots for our family, and we are hugely grateful for all of that. Um, because, yeah, the, it's, um, it was, you know, obviously a very hard thing to kind of to, to learn um, and kind of deal with. Um, fundraising is something that is the, probably the hardest part for us because um, we were always very private people. And um, so one of my friends kept encouraging, kept saying, whenever you're ready, whenever you're ready, whenever you want to start fundraising. So um, she has done the bulk of the work and it, you know, once we got started, then it's, you know, people know us now, so it becomes easier. And it's a story that is, you know, easily support. I mean, it's people find it easy to support the fundraising, um, but it is definitely hard for us to put ourselves out there and to ask for help. This is something important, something that you need to kind of, you know, step outside of your comfort zone to kind of really do what you can to help, um, you know, all the kids that, um, like Nathan and Bennett, that suffer from progeria. Because it's, it's obviously not a large cause, so we have to, you know, be louder than the other voices of, you know, people that are fundraising. We make a splash. We go to the pool and, well, last year the Star Wars people came. Some people from Star Wars came. And we had fun and there's a DJ. Yeah, so the, yeah, the ultimate goal, obviously, for the fundraising is to find a cure for progeria. Um, you know, in, in line with that, obviously, you know, as we talked about there, you know, we're just um, you know, looking to do as much as we can to help kind of raise money um, you know, for, for Nathan and Bennett and also all the kids with um, Progeria. The families, a lot of the, you know, the yep. families are so sweet and they've all been through so much, so. Um, something I like to do for fun is weed. I like to go outside. <laughs> um, uh, and watch TV. That's pretty much it. <laughs> I like to put on my iPad and watch TV. I like to play my phone. <laughs> so in um, this this past summer, we didn't do. We usually do a beach vacation, but we didn't do a beach vacation. We went to Boston for um, the clinical trial with at Boston Children's Hospital, and all five of us, um, our thirteen year old daughter Libby and Nathan and Bennett stayed in a very small hotel room, which was interesting. Um, and, but it, it was very fun because we were all together. And then we went to um, Niagara Falls in Canada, which was very fun as well. Um, <laughs> someplace fun we went is in Canada. Yeah, Canada and Niagara Falls. Um, when we were there, we went on uh, the Maid of the Mist, which is a boat that goes like um, on the water. And close to the falls. Yeah, it goes and close you get to the falls. And you get sprayed. And you get sprayed <laughs> by water. We've been impacted negatively. It's, you know, some days are hard just to watch them struggle to do things that um, other kids can do so easily. Um, watching them being excluded from some activities and things. Um, a bouncy house birthday party or you know a sports party that they can't participate in. Bennett says that um, when we go to Boston that you know the medicine is supposed to take his special needs away. It's hard to hear because you just want to fix it for your kids. The support that we receive from the fam you know other people in our community I think that's been a real positive you know we've um, you know they've, they've rallied behind us and our family and Progeria in a, in a huge way so 
Um, so I think that's been a real positive that we've um, seen from this, um, you know, in addition to the support we've gotten from our, our family as well.